So here we go. Sixth session. Episode six of this final season here. We got four episodes left. Uh, we are over halfway through this season here. And um, it's been very good so far. Uh, still keeping in, in line with the day-by-day thing this season, um, which I think we've been enjoying. Mm-hmm. Um, as, usual, lot of, as usual, I have all of our pictures in order, yes. just so you're aware. Perfect. Like, when we're going in through. Um, very heavy. It continues to be very heavy on Shiv, Roman, and Kendall, as it should be, I think, you know, if this is the final season. Um, well, and Logan's dead. Yeah, right. Uh, but I, I definitely think some characters have taken a bit of a backseat, which we can talk to about later. Fair. But... Um, so this episode basically is centered around Kendall and Roman announcing this new, it's not really a streaming service, it's like an at-home entertainment system. No, it's a, it's a real estate thing. It's like they, they, they're they building houses to live in for like old oh, people. Oh, see, I thought it was virtual. No. Oh. They're, they're, it's, it's like an old folks home. It's it's land cruises. Yeah. Oh, right. That's what they say. Right? And it's so called gonna, Living Plus. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. and basically it's, it's building up to this big announcement and Kendall's obviously doing his usual spiel of he wants this, he wants that. He wants to be wearing that on stage. He likes to be the director. Yes. We get, <laughs> yeah. He wants clouds. Um, yeah, he saw them in Berlin. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so then, so um, so then it comes, it, <laughs> like, yeah, well, he hasn't been taking drugs recently. No, I know, but he's like, so, it's, he's such a nutty, like, I don't know. Yeah. He's, he's a, a nutty character. professor. He um, is. But basically, it comes to that, and and Roman ends up not being there, so it's just him, and, and ba- that's really the majority of the episode is Kendall on stage, and obviously the ongoing conflict with Matt's in here. But what'd you think of this episode? I think it's the uh, a hot take. Yeah, I think it's the worst one of the season so far. I think. All right, I feel like worse is a strong word. Do you think it's no? Out of all it, of them, is it a all bad been episode, or is it the least? It's, it's my least, least favorite. favorite. I think it's well. I think it's a well. So it's a little bit of both. I think, but the thing is, though, right? It, because it's Succession, mm-hmm. um, it's fantastic. But it is the worst one. It is my least favorite episode. Okay, for a but couple least of favorite's reasons. Different from like bad. And well, okay, but I'm gonna really? get, I'm gonna dig deep as, and then we're gonna go a little filmmakery here today. And this is like, okay. I know I hold this shit to a high standard, but this is Succession. Okay, sure. it's the best show on television right now. Hands down, Agreed. I would fight somebody over that. Okay, ba- physically. Some people would argue I'm Barry. Barry's hilarious. Ba- yeah. Barry's the best comedy I would say on okay. TV right now. Okay. This is the best drama. Mm-hmm. Um, it's very very good. My issue with this one was how much did we hear about Living Plus before this episode? I think it, it was definitely mentioned um, the episode before, but not much. Right. Yeah, one it, time, maybe, mm-hmm. maybe one time. Yes. How much did we hear about the Gojo deal last season? It was the whole season was setting yep. us up for Gojo, mm-hmm. right? So that's more like Succession. I felt like this was kind of a cheap shot, like a little like a like a like to throw Living Plus. It's like a random fucking episode to me. Mm-hmm. I didn't like the fact that that Roman, although I like that he's spiraling. Like so this is the thing, right? So like I everything's kind of in line with the characters, but I yep. felt like they just kind of threw a lot. It's so manic. This episode is like so all over the place mm-hmm. where the last bits of it really haven't been that much i want to ask you speak we just talked about earlier in the show before matt left we were talking about the greatest openings of all time how much did you want to vomit immediately when it opened up with logan roy's face the very the very opening shot is logan with the green screen behind i, it? I wouldn't say vomit no but like you stop it catches you, were, you off guard yeah, yeah i was like yeah, oh yeah. shit like wait what are we doing here yeah, and then yeah, i was yeah. like oh okay 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 right um that was that was a cool Moment. I know I'm dramatic, but you know, yeah, it was, yeah. no, that was cool. I was not. And then the way it plays into the thing was just. I chuckled. Yeah, I was like, yeah. "Look at this fucking guy." I, I was know. like, "I miss you, you bastard." A lot of you know, secondhand cringe. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, but and then uh, just I know we we jump around all the time, but you know, toward the end when when Kendall's on stage and he <laughs> Logan on the screen and he edited it so that Logan yeah. goes, "Let's get on with it." I was like, "Please, when I die, have somebody do that with me up on the screen." Yeah, being yeah, like, yeah. Let's move it along here. I thought that was fantastic. Yep. But but again, we haven't heard a lot about Living Plus. It was all kind of like crammed into one episode. So that's one thing that I have an issue with. The other thing that I have an issue with was the firing of the people. So well, like, let's talk about Living Plus first. Sure. Okay. I'm just saying yeah, as a, as we'll a whole, the firing. The, like there were certain things that like I just felt it was poorly executed okay. in the writing side of it. 
if okay. that makes sense. The structure of the episode itself, as an episode though, what am I going to say? It was bad. it's fucking it's a great yeah. show. It's the best show out there. So I that's part of the reason I hold it to the standard that I hold it to though. It's like it's yeah. got to hit every every point. Yeah. Am I going to tune in this week? I'm already gearing up for it. Like, I'm fucking excited. Right. But still, it's the, my least favorite of this season so far. Okay. Um. I mean, I guess now that I think of it, it's probably my least favorite too. Out of all of them. Out of all of them, yeah. Especially when you have the episode where Logan dies being oh, like- Oh, 100%. I couldn't talk for an hour after. I was like, this is fucking unbelievable. Yeah. But the the Living Plus thing, I, I definitely see where you're coming from. It, it really wasn't cheap, a cheap. big setup. But did it- uh, My my question would be, did it need to be a big setup? Because it, it really- I don't think it's that big of a deal. I think the bigger deal is that is Kendall is using it to get his stock up so that it, Gojo can't afford them. And yeah. I, I mean, if you did, did you watch the inside the episode after and how the, the creator of the show said he always wanted to do like a Apple launch like that? Uh, OK, you know? so but it's but so, all I'm but saying that is, supports your theory and that it was kind of shift. Maybe it was thrown in there so he could finally do it that. also supports yeah. what I was saying about the inside the episode from last week. Yeah, um, they said that they have a, a, a room, a writer's room, mm -hmm. right, where they discuss what they're going to put in the show. And they have a board where they write things down on the board, like, what are some company things to do? Like, one of them was go on a company retreat to another country. Yes, yeah. So that was their excuse to go to, to Norway. Yeah. That was mm -hmm. what they said in the, that's inside how, the episode. That's like how a writing room works. I get it, yeah. dude. I get it. I'm just saying. I said last week I felt like it was an excuse to bring the whole cast to another country yeah. just, just for the hell of it because it would be a fun thing sure. for them to do as a film crew when you're making all the money that they're making. Mm -hmm. And then you have this one where they wanted to do an Apple launch, so they threw this in. Yeah. Can we just talk about what Living Plus is, though, really quick? Yeah. So it's like they're going to buy land, fields mm -hmm. and fields of land, and build these tiny homes, essentially, yeah. right? And then they're going to build these communities where they're going to have – like, if you live there, you're going to have access. It does show kind of, like, Screenings how much power and, they have. Yeah. But access to, like, stem cell research and, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. medical. It is a bit ridiculous. It's a little much. Like, yeah. what, are we in Westworld again now? Like, what is this? Like, yeah. that was how I felt. It did. It, it, like, because I, I couldn't see, like, a Fox or a Disney doing that right now. Right. Like, anything close to that. Right. Yeah. So, or, or, I mean, you have, uh, they're, they're technically... They're not, but they're kind of mirroring Fox, right? Oh, 100%. Rupert Murdoch, yeah, yeah, all this yeah. other stuff. Yeah. It would be more, I kind of wish looking back, just with this whole, like, it's, I'm not getting political, I mm -hmm. promise, but this whole thing about, like, Tucker Carlson being fired, mm -hmm. it would be very interesting if they had kind of dug more into, like, an ATN thing and then had one of their top people be more, more um, influential in the show and yeah. then you get rid of them, which will bring me on to the firing thing with Roman in a little bit, but... So Living Plus is not, they call it, like Matson even calls it a uh, great scene on the plane, by mm -hmm. the way, with Shiv and Matson. Yes. I, lo I love that little yes. interaction. And I, I. Girl on the inside, she goes, okay, my boy on the outside. Looking back though. Sorry, go ahead. I don't think anything happened. What do you mean? Oh, yeah, like yeah, no, they didn't, they yeah. didn't do shit. No. They didn't do shit. Yeah. Um, the Shiv is definitely looking out for herself though as the, uh, oh, yeah, 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 dude, we have so much to talk about mm -hmm. right now. Um. Yeah, so so uh but the way that Matson presents it to Shiv is like the the product launch like they're coming out with a fucking t-shirt. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. They're talking about living to be 150 slash living forever. That's a good point. Like you know what, what are you yeah. like what now, are we talking like, about? Cuz I was confused it really as to what it was exactly, but now that you're Right, cuz they've never that, talked about it before. Right, you would think you this would have come up a lot earlier. That that's a good point. No, you you got a good point so, there. So and yeah. that's that's my only point because if they had been yeah. talking about this, if it had, even if it had been like an underlying kind yeah. of story from season two or three mm -hmm. that carries over, like oh shit, dude, Logan's gonna die. Like we, sh I wish we had Living Plus going already or mm -hmm. some shit. Like it's never mentioned before, and I wonder if it'll be mentioned really much again. Which is why the episode yeah. feels as manic as it does. We're doing all of this stuff. It feels like a different show almost. Yeah, in some respects. Um, so you have. Uh, Matson and, and Shiv, and we. I'm just trying to go well, through. I was going to say to your point about um, how you wish it would focus maybe more on uh, the ATN side of things. I agree with you there, especially since they keep saying that the election is days away, and we really have not gotten much of Connor. Like, what's going on with his campaign? Even though it's bullshit, he's at right. less than one percent. What's going like, where on is with he? what's going on with Mankin, who they keep name dropping, but he hasn't showed up yet. Obviously, the next episode we're going to see him in the preview, but. 
you know, maybe this next half is going to focus more on that. But I, I do feel like um, Tom, up until this episode, I feel like hadn't had much to do. I feel like he, you know, obviously. Yeah, but he's been a slow burn. Like, he's been, there's there's a little ember there. Yeah. Greg, but, to me, is just he's useless. Just there. He's useless. I don't know what this, happened this there. Season. Um, and then the other one was was Connor, who, who I think we're th- maybe going to get more of now going forward. But yeah, maybe I don't know. But I do think some characters have, I don't know, teetered off a little bit. Well, especially it's, Greg. It's because Logan died, so they have to yeah, focus on the I three guess, main yeah, characters. That's, that's why. Um, but anyway, let's go, so yeah, that the end of last episode or during the before they go up on the mountain, mm-hmm. right? They were showing this horrible film that they've spent tons and tons yep. of money on. So now. They are all in Los Angeles at Waystar Studios, mm-hmm. which is essentially their Warner Brothers or yeah. their Wilco Media. Mm-hmm. They they go to uh, they go to the Waystar Studios to kind of check in and see it's their Universal, like they own Universal, mm-hmm. um, and they're kind of checking in to see like what the issue was with that film. They're trying to straighten that out, and that's also where they're going to be giving this uh, presentation at the end, yes. Living Plus presentation. Mm-hmm. So there's a lot of lot of things that they're going to be checking off at Waystar Studios. Mm-hmm. Episode opens. They bring in uh, Jerry and Carl and all of the head, the whole board. They have a board meeting essentially at Waystar Studios, and I thought this was interesting. They totally lie and flip Roman's flip out, and they say that Matson flipped out on them on the mountain. Yeah, and that it's a concern, and they're what they're trying to do is obviously is to get the board against Matson to see if they can right. keep the company. Mm-hmm. But Shiv sees through that. Yeah, right, right. Um, Shiv, well, Shiv also they lie to Shiv too, and she totally calls him out on. Yeah, it. yeah, and yeah. It's like really, mm-hmm. like you're lying to me, and mm-hmm. that is where stuff goes a little. I where I think the season moving forward is going to start really screwing them over. They shouldn't. I don't believe they should have lied to Shiv because Shiv's a bitch no I I think and I think I mean obviously it it started happening when Kendall and Roman got named CEO but they're very much not a team anymore it's very much Kendall and Roman and then Shiv is kind of doing her own and as she has been but as of the end of this episode I don't even think it's Kendall and Roman I think it's just Kendall yeah I I definitely think uh, yeah even though Kendall ends this episode on a high note, I definitely don't think it's going to last very long. No, I don't either, but yeah. I just don't I don't see that, like, camaraderie. Oh, 100. Well, you could see it in, in terms of bros. Roman making fun of him on stage, and then right when he comes in, he congratulates him. He thought you know? everything was going to crash and burn, yeah. and he left him hanging. Yeah. That was very, yeah. very interesting to me. Mm-hmm. Um, Roman, Mr. Pre-Grief, yeah. hasn't pre-griefed. No. Clearly. Yeah. And every time someone brings up how not like his father he is. Yep. We get to see more of the not pre grieving. Um, well, so yeah, so let's go through his firings here. The first one he Joy. fired was Joy, who is I think the studio EP. head. Yeah, yeah. Um, she's the executive at the yeah, studio. Yeah, at the studio. Uh, yeah, very unprofessional way of firing. I mean, Logan would never happen. Logan esque in the sense of like Logan would fire someone on the spot, but like not like that. No, he would have yeah. had he would have had Jerry there, and he would have had other people. Yeah, there is right. a way to go about doing things, which is which brings us to the next firing. I don't want to skip it. I'm just yeah. saying, like it would never, ever, ever, ever happen in real life. Ever, not like that. Never. What she would have in real life, Joy would have laughed at him as he walked away from the table mm-hmm. because that it opens him up to like all of this legal scrutiny and yeah. everything. Well, is it they they did address that though? Jerry yeah. addresses it with him, but what I'm saying is like just like. Dude, no one is that stupid. No one is going to put... First of all, the board is not going to put Kendall and Roman in as CEO of this company if they think that they're going to act like that. Like, that's yeah. crazy, dude. Yeah, but I don't know, man. I, I Like, I, I feel like Kendall... I mean, Roman is a very sporadic character, and I think, sure, like, sure. like you said, he still hasn't processed his dad's death, so, like, he's really not in a good headspace. I don't I don't disagree with you. Yeah. And, by the way, the... This is whether I think the situation is realistic or not. Mm-hmm. The performance on, on oh, Kieran Culkin's side, when I love you, one thing we have not talked about, mm-hmm. and I watched this episode twice, and the second time is when I thought of this. Mm-hmm. We haven't talked about the editing at all, and this is something that's really big for me. Mm-hmm. So, because I'm, I'm an editor, so like the 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 editing in this in that scene where he fires Joy, yeah, it's very back and forth, choppy. They're having a conversation, and the second he goes, "Well, I could just fire you," the editor didn't even cut and. Th- like whatever, whoever made the decision, the editor does not cut to her reaction. Mm-hmm. You hang on Roman sitting there being like, "I could just fire you." Yeah, and it's it's so impactful. Yeah, because I like, think that Shit. moment means more to him. 
Yeah. Like his character. He's her. serious. Yeah. We are joy in that yeah, yeah, in yeah. that scene. And it's really cool, man. Like mm-hmm. I the editing is is phenomenally done in this in this show, but mm-hmm. like that was just something that stood out to me. So good job editing. Yep. Um so he fires the studio executive and she's like, You're making a big mistake, and he's like, Yep, whatever. And then he tries to go back to discuss more of this living plus thing, and Jerry barges in yep. and is like, I need to see you right now. And does this mom thing. Yep. How's that wind up? How's that? Oh, going? he fires her. He, he, does. he fires her. They have a big back and forth. Um, obviously, probably not a smart move. Probably I was not really the best surprised. Executed thing to do, especially when we know that Jerry has a lot of stuff on Roman that you could throw out there. That's in the one future. and two. I thought they were really close. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. They can't even have like. Listen, dude. I'm being honest. But I think right? that they. I will say, since season three, they have been growing more and more apart. I don't disagree, but. At the same time, like let's let's be honest here. Mm-hmm. Like if you and I were having a conversation like that, and then I just randomly was like, "Well, we're not doing your show anymore." Like you'd be like, "Wait, what? We're just wait, what?" Yeah, but there's what? been build like, up. There's been build up, and I, he knows I know, that. I and know. he and he I literally been, fired I Jerry already. I haven't been sending you pictures of my dick anyway. So yeah, you know, right. Like him, but we I'm could saying, start. We could like, try. He, this isn't the first time he's fired Jerry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know yeah. what I'm saying? He knows Logan didn't want her there. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So I, I think I don't it's know, I another... just feel like specifically Roman and Jerry have been like this uh, yeah. pseudo couple. But I think right? it's definitely broken apart. Yeah. Since, no, I agree. Over, it's over just sad time. to see is all I'm saying. Yeah. That's and all. I, yeah, because it was such a great relationship before. No, but yeah. there was something there. Yeah, there yeah, was yeah. something weird there. It's, I'm telling yeah. you, just because it's not your typical average relationship doesn't make it not real. Yeah. You know, they I mean, had something. We we have talked about um, Roman, like what his deal is. Sexually? In terms of sexually. Yeah. And I actually did read an article last week that the creator was talking about, or it might have been actually Kieran Culkin said that that whole, remember the first season when he has the physical trainer? Yeah, that he is like talking about being gay or Yeah, well, something. that there was going to be a whole plot line with that. <gasps> oh, that, that would have they been... didn't do it. Yeah. yeah. So that would have yeah, been but great. Interesting stuff. That would have been great. Uh, but anyway, so then, yeah, he fires that a lot of manic Manic stuff going on there. I was just thinking about Logan when he ke- when he sends Logan the dick pic as opposed to oh, Jerry. Yeah. And Logan goes, what is this? Are you a sicko? Are you a sicko? <laughs> and yeah. then he goes, no, it's just a dick pic. People send yeah. him. He goes, what? Like, fuck you. Here's your dick? Like, yeah. That's season one. Dude, so good. I know. He's it's missed. so good. I know. This but, show is uh, so good. Go ahead. So then, obviously, Roman goes to tell Kendall this. This and, is where Kendall lost me. He got me back, but this is where Kendall, Kendall lost me. Kendall loves it because I think he's a psycho. This is a nice moment, though. Because I feel like it's it's one thing where, like, Roman appreciates Kendall's support. Like, he gives him the pat on the back, and he's like, you know what I'm saying? There is, like... And he's a, nervous. He was like, you might have to yeah, walk 100%. it back. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah, This is why I don't think that moving forward... after the As of the end of the episode, I don't think moving forward that they're, that they're on the same team, though. No. Because in his time of think, crisis, mm-hmm. Kendall was right there. Pat on the back. Fuck it. Fire me, too, bro. Yeah. Like, he was like, like, I got you. Whatever. Yeah. You, you're a CEO, too. Like, he was mm-hmm. right there. Brothers. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then later, Kieran kind of fucks him all. I mean, um, Roman kind of fucks. Yeah, Kendall yeah, yeah. Bit. But but why? Well, but yeah. So then that. So then, obviously, Kendall goes through his whole thing about want what he wants for the show. Stuff doesn't work out as he as he planned it. He wants it done in like twenty four hours. Right. Um, right. And he got these space jacket suits. He's ready. He got one for Roman, and then Roman's like, uh, "I think you're. I'm going to leave this one to you." Kendall, a great acting from Jeremy Strong. Like just like. Across yeah. the board. Yeah, you can tell his disappointment there. But he goes out on stage, and then, I mean, it starts pretty bad. Like, you think, big oh, shoes. shit. Big shoes. Big, big shoes. shoes. And I mean, you're going to, I was going to puke. I mean, yeah. I'm sitting there going, oh, my but, God. And then he brings out, obviously, the, the edited video of of Logan yeah. um, and stuff. And then he really picks it up. And then I thought, again, that it was going to with a downfall and with then, Mats. And then he kind of handled it well. I was really um, yeah. kind of surprised. Prize? Like, yeah. So we've talked about before that like Madsen kind of represents like a Mark Zuckerberg or an Elon yep. Musk, just like a very young, multi multi billionaire yeah. CEO guy, right? Okay. But you make a Holocaust. I don't think I don't see Elon Musk making that specific type. Yeah, of but I, I mean, joke. He's still not really Elon Musk. You know what I'm saying? He's his own no, character. No, yeah. no, no. I'm I'm saying I was surprised the character made a move like yeah, that because yeah, yeah. uh, the Holocaust is kind of a global thing that yeah. everybody knows about but he seems pretty i think he's just pretty off he doesn't give a shit yeah, yeah. i just think he thought it was funnier than it actually was is all i mean yeah, yeah and yeah. it definitely was not a funny joke mm-hmm. um kendall handles it 
immaculately well. I, the thing about Kendall is throughout he's had his ups and downs, but he does he's had some wins. Yeah. And he he shows glimpses of himself, but then like the next episode he drops down again. You know what I'm saying? It's never consistent with him, which I think is the issue. And I think that's probably why Logan bounced so much back and forth as to whether to name him his heir or not. Well, that, you know, I think, yeah. I mean, let's be honest here. The, get, the guy's a, a drug addict and an alcoholic. And he but has, he is sober. Now he is. Yeah. I thought, quite frankly, I thought that after Logan passed away that there'd be something, some issue yeah, there. Yeah, I thought so, yeah. But again, but when, the first, when the so first five days. Him, yeah. Not to mention that and I think that because he immediately went from that to I mean, he has every every sign of an addict, at least in my opinion. I'm no yeah. professional there, but again, I've said I've dealt with addiction in my family mm. and stuff like that. But like, he is obsessed with being CEO. Yeah. He is obsessively, you know, addicted to being CEO mm-hmm. right now. It is his current alcohol yeah. or drug. Um, that's how he deals with stuff. He listens to the playlist in the car and the headphones yeah, yeah, yeah. and the whole th- like. He is. If you take that away from him, what what happens to this character right. is he goes to drugs and alcohol. So, mm-hmm. it's very interesting. Um. So the uh, well, go ahead, want, go, 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 go. Let's stay on the Kendall. That's where I am. Train. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And yeah. then, so obviously, everyone's shitting on him from the room watching it. But then after they see the numbers and they support him, and then I mean, let let's talk about that last shot of him in the water. Yeah, of him in the water. I mean, it's weird, and I I don't know if it's just kind of a consistent visual thing that they're doing, or it's it's uh foreshadowing something, but. Kendall's been in like a body of water every season. You yeah, have the pseudo he, he self deletion. Well, you have it was the like the car crash in the first season. Yeah, the second <laughs> he's season in the water. The what second the season he's in the water um, in the pool. In no, well, on the boat. Then the third yeah. season is when he almost dies. He almost drowns in the pool. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. So it's it's an interesting thing that keeps going on, but this is probably the most like heroic moment for him in terms of like so i do find it funny that he's always kind of diving head first into the water and this water moment yeah he's on his back looking up yeah like he's clearly can breathe yeah and i if we're gonna get symbolic with it that mean could mean something yeah as opposed to when like even when he's in the pool like part of the reason that he drowns or whatever mm-hmm. drops the beer bottle so he's facing down sleeping yeah in the right pool. when he's in the car and the music is the very triumphant like it's a moment. Yeah. yeah. It's a moment, it's a moment and a half. And I want him like listen, I, he's not the best guy, but like no, he's also none been of them through are. a ton of shit. Sure. And I I'm not going to root against him. I I do want him to end up on a good note, I think, whether he's CEO or not. Right. You know, right. I don't want to see him, you know, die in in any form. So No, I don't want I yeah. don't want him to either. And he so let's backtrack a little mm-hmm. bit while I have this picture up, right? This is Logan's footage of what he was going to present mm-hmm. before he passed away. Yep. He was going to present Living Plus at some yeah. point. They have this stock footage of him talking about Living Plus. Mm-hmm. Greg lost me. This is another thing. End of the episode. Yeah, when he's Gre- just kind of being Tom. Y- yeah. Yeah. When he went in and talked to that guy, the black guy who's doing well, you the just sound editing. because you're editing. Yeah. You know. What do you mean? What, the editing the sound? No, because you, you know, you felt you were in the editor's shoes there. You know? No, I felt yeah. like it. It, if Greg was talking to me like that, I don't care. I would have been like, "Who the fuck are you?" Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, he he. It sounded fake. Where this mm-hmm. show, even though the characters are a little bit exaggerated yeah. and everything else, I like the real moments. Mm-hmm. And that was like, what? Like mm-hmm. what? It, it sounded like a like a like a anchorman would never be a real news movie. Yeah, you yeah, buy yeah. it because everybody buys it in the movie, but mm-hmm. it just like those lines that scene with the with it with Nick Bronson, mm-hmm. like that was kind of out of character. Mm-hmm. As much in character as it was, it was a little out of character for me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was a little like, what are you doing? Yeah, like, why are you talking like that? Uh-huh. You know, as opposed to just again, we we I was excited for Greg. When he told Carrie that she would not have her own show, yes, I thought that was a great scene. Yes, good and scene. that was done very well. The lines there, mm-hmm. you know what I mean. But his like, so just do it because I don't want to get in trouble, and I'm being. It was yeah. like, it was like childish. I don't feel like the guy who he was talking to would have responded the way that he did. Like, oh okay. Like mm-hmm. I was like, what is going on? Mm-hmm. Anyway, it's the reason I bring that scene up is because they change what Logan said to say something he did not say. Yeah. Which was that the numbers, the revenue would double, double. and I was like, mm, "I want to ask RJ how he feels about this." You have no idea, by the way. We film these on Wednesday; they go mm-hmm. up on Friday. 
but we watch, I watch shows on Sunday most mm-hmm. of the time. Yeah. Um, and it takes everything out of me not to ask you these questions until we get mm-hmm. here. Like, I, I want to know what you thought about the fact that they totally fudged what somebody said, even though the person's dead. But they lied, bro. That's an SEC vibe. It would, it would make sense in the real world, yeah. okay, if um, the Murdochs had done this, let's mm-hmm. say, for Fox News or if Steve Jobs. It would make total sense yeah. for episode seven to opening scene of one of these people in handcuffs. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, that is a fucking SEC violation all day long. They yeah. are lying. The numbers are completely fudged. It's mm-hmm. all bullshit, and they could all go to jail. If you well, notice, he mentions Carl. Carl stands up clapping. Jerry is sitting there like this. Yeah, right. Like this is not good. No, this is not good. And Matson could fuck them now, mm-hmm. and and now he has the same kind of relationship. That that Kendall and Hugo have, mm-hmm. except that Kendall is Hugo and Matson is Kendall. Yeah, it's, a, it's I mean, all, it's, it's everyone's like, blackmailing each other. Yeah, it's dangerous. It's dangerous, dude. Yeah. Like it's I mean, really scary. It's, it's definitely some thing. some shit's gonna go down in these last four episodes. Yeah, but man. Before I don't know. We, before we wrap it up, though, what did you think of? Because uh, we've been talking a lot about Shiv and Tom's interesting relationship. What did you think Bitey? about it here? What about the bitey scene? Yeah, the bitey scene. Yep. At the, at what the, did you think about it. it in general? I love it. As sick and twisted as it is, yeah, and how I love that Tom is, uh, kind of half admits that he's faking being a pussy, like he's yeah. he's all about money. It's definitely he, changed when he yeah. sits on the bed. That's a great shot that you had, by the mm-hmm. way. In this yeah. scene, when he's sitting on the bed and he kind of says point blank, like, "Uh, yeah, I betrayed you mm-hmm. because I like money, yeah, and I never know where you land with me, yeah, and um." So I have to look out for me and I have to look out for money. And he's like, you know what? This is a great moment. It's a great moment because he's he's admitting to be this asshole. Yeah. And then he says, but don't worry because you're an asshole too. He goes, that's fine. You want to go live in a trailer park? I'll give up everything right now as long as you give up all your yeah, shit to come right. live with me. Yeah. You, you want to marry for love? Let's marry for love, babe. Let's yeah. have nothing together. And uh, he's like, so you coming? And then they have that great moment where they're laughing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is obviously after the bitey scene. Uh, what'd you think about the body, the bodies? I thought it was super cute. I I was all over it. Like I, I mean, love. Yeah, it was definitely. It was it, weird. It was I mean, public. It makes sense within their relationship to cause pain to each other. You know, in public yeah. like that though, where everybody knows. Oh yeah, it was definitely weird. Up? It was weird. Yeah. No? Oh yeah. 100%. I just thought you'd have an interesting take. Yeah, but I don't know. I, I I'm just waiting for her to tell him about the kid. I, I'm very curious to see yeah, what, what the fuck is that. going on with the kid. I know they really haven't touched and that. She was drinking again in this episode. I know. I don't know how they're. I, I'm wondering. I'm curious though, because Sarah Snook, who plays Shiv, is pregnant now. Like I saw her on the red carpet, like pretty far down the road. So yeah. she had to have been. Oh yes, she is. Pregnant d- during this. Yeah. Do you think that they wrote that in because she was pregnant? Or do you think it was always their plan to make Shiv pregnant? I think. I think. So this I mean, is it could thing. be a coincidence. Yeah, but, but they're I don't not. Know. We've we've been talking about this the whole time. I feel like they're not stupid enough to have it written in and then. Also have her drink. Someone's going to call it out. Oh, 100%. Yeah. So like, and, and she does drugs. Mm-hmm. So like. But no one knows other than the doctors. So r- there's no right. one there to call it out. I'm yet. saying from the viewer standpoint. Yeah. 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 They're not going to do that. And yeah. like, like something, she's definitely doing something. Oh, 100%. Um, yeah. I'm curious. But. I don't know, man. We'll I, see. I, I kind of, I had a feeling that they were going to end up back together. I just like that we've now officially kind of from Tom's. We never knew where Tom stood. No, right now they both sides, both lines are drawn. Yeah, and them. we and yeah. like we get it. And mm-hmm. to be quite honest, this is probably where they should have been before they decided to get yeah, married. It's, it's be, it, I mean, it sucks that they went through what they did, and whether or not sometimes you, agree you have with to. Them, it's good that at least they're on terms where they understand both Fair. sides. Right, a hundred percent agree with you. Yeah, yeah man. I, listen, I, I. Well, how are you feeling? I love Tom. I, I love, love Tom. Too. Tom. Yeah, I love Tom. I uh, I don't um, as much as I don't like Kendall. I think the recovery was uh, during the speech where they, especially after the Holocaust joke and all that yeah. BS. Um, there was that interaction. Where, there's just there's a lot of like there's a lot of like arrogance about the kids. Obviously, we talk about it all the time. Um, and he even says it to Carl when Carl says like, "Hey, buddy, like." You, you've you've you, he the actually excuse the expression for the people watching, but Carl says in the show he says you've got my dick in your hand, but I've got yours in mine. Yeah, and it's that thing of like you may think you have one over on me, but trust me, like yeah. you need me. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like you can think that you're messing around, like you're so yeah, cool, yeah, yeah, but yeah. like 
yeah, you need me. Mm-hmm. And uh, and he says point blank to him, he's like, if you say anything that you that I don't like when you're up there, we're gonna have a big fucking issue. Yeah. And um, I thought that was I thought that was great. And then and I really thought because Shiv says to Roman that like she's the one that sparks the division between the brothers. Mm-hmm. Like he he has done crazy stuff before. This is gonna go south. Mm-hmm. Back away. And Roman tries to say, why don't we back away? And Kendall's like, no, wait, what? Like, yeah. no, we, we have to do this. And he's like, okay, I'll do it myself kind of mm-hmm. deal, right? Loses Roman entirely. And then Roman throws a fit. The reason I bring up this with the uh, the editing of the stuff is that Kendall then re-edits some other footage mm-hmm. and says yeah, sends and it sends it to Roman. If anybody, you texted me and said, I, I don't want Kendall to die, but you mm-hmm. think that something might happen. Mm-hmm. What if Roman just can't handle it anymore? Like, what if some shit happens? He's like, he. that's a creepy way yeah. to end the episode. Uh, Roman Roman Roy yeah. has a small dick and does everything wrong. And he's re- on repeat. He's listening to his dad. See, I, I took that more as, like, he's just listening to his dad's voice, less in terms of, like, what he was actually saying. He does everything wrong? No, 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 but I'm saying, like, I th- like him replaying that was, like, you know, if you have someone who had died in your family and you have their voicemail and you listen to their voice. But he f- he manically and and psychotically fired two people just because they said he's not like his dad. He's yeah, been clearly sure. not having a time to grieve. Mm-hmm. He flipped out on Matson on the mountain because of his dad. And now the voice of his dad has yeah. been edited to say that he does everything wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trust me, it matters. <laughs> like, yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's a psycho moment, dude. Mm-hmm. He's he's going a little crazy. Um. And he hasn't really had a release yet. I know he yelled, but I mean, like, he hasn't had a minute to be like, yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a theory, and I want your opinion mm-hmm. on this, and this goes toward the end of it. This is, like, in my conclusion. You can talk about mm-hmm. whatever you want. What is the last episode? Is it, is it Logan's funeral? Do you think that that's what it's going to be? Maybe. It might be a good way to end it. Yeah. Is at, is at his funeral. I saw that it's an hour and a half. It's called With Open Eyes. That's yep. all I know. Um, yep. I'm pumped. Wait, how, wait you, you. How do you know it's at a funeral? No, no. I'm asking. Oh. Is it at? Is do we end this series? Is that a good closing moment for the series at Logan's maybe, funeral? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I could see that. Yeah, maybe I don't they, know. Maybe I they're know waiting anything. to do the funeral till after the election and everything tides over. Well, it might yeah. be interesting if it's uh, called with open eyes as they're closing a casket. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could see that. Hour and a half too. Good. Good stuff. <sighs> Good stuff. I can't, can't wait. I know. But I know. Yeah, we're, we're we're near the end here. Um I can't wait. We'll, we'll be reviewing next week. Um we're thinking of maybe doing a live uh reaction right after the finale too. So we'll keep you guys updated on that. Yeah. But uh as always, thank you guys for watching. Movie Mob Podcast drops every Friday at 6 p.m. Sideline with Matt if you like sports. Talking NBA playoffs, that drops every Wednesday at 12 p.m. And then we got Movie Roulette. Uh, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest is uh, our review this week, and that's going to be dropping on Monday. So get after it, guys. Thanks for watching. Comment below what you thought of this episode, everything we talked about. How you doing?